Welcome to NWA Smoky Mountain TV on the CW4 on NWASmokyMountain.com. I'm Matt Rhodes alongside my broadcast partner, Heath Sneed, and my old friend Mike Cooper. We're here to call the action for you today. We're going to have some big matches. Mike Cooper, I'll come to you first. Vince Brent versus Josh Crawford in a grudge match. This match has been a long time coming. There's a lot, a whole lot of history between these two men. Maybe they can settle it today. Maybe not. Cowboy Jack Jeff Connolly will defend his television title a little bit later on against Alex Winters. Definitely. You know, I've been following the television title now for, what, almost a year. A little over a year now, Matt, and it's something I'm very vested in. Jeff Connolly has been on the scene as a television champion for quite a while, and I'm going to see who that mystery opponent is tonight, Matt. As folks know, this uh, back, back this past Friday night, Churchill, Tennessee, we had a huge night. We're here with you today from Churchill, but we saw three big title matches, including the World Junior Heavyweight title on the line. We're going to see results from that today, but right now, we're going to get the guys out here, get the referee out here, and we're going to get things started on NWA. Okay. Vince Brent, Josh Crawford, Mike, they've had a long history, long, tethered history, former, bro almost brothers, the way these two, they went everywhere together, concerts, races, wrestling events, these two men were inseparable at one time, now bitter enemies, nice arm drag by Brent, look out now, stripping that Cherokee t-shirt off the shirt of it. on. <laughs> Oh, you're exactly right. Huh? That fan didn't want that. <laughs> Should have thrown it back in the ring. Oh, you're exactly right. They just flat out don't like each other anymore. <laughs> Frankly, I, I can't really blame Josh Cross. I mean, come on. After all he's done for Vince Brent. After all he's done. Vince Brent, he held Vince Brent down for years. Since he got out from Josh's shadow, if you will, Vince Brent has took off his career, blossomed, if you will, and probably the, the most recognized star in Smoky Mountain today. Yeah, well, most definitely. Doesn't have any uh, gold around his waist, does he? Well, I tell you what, Brent, it's only a matter of time before the gold's around his waist. Lock up here, elbow, collar, and elbow. Yeah, all Vince really had to do was just, you know, go along with with the program. Listen to Josh Crawford, Dylan Wayne size boy. Right. He could have been a he could have been a world champion. I'll tell you he what, climbing it all. Climbing to the top is definitely on Vince Brent's uh, list of things to do here in the NWA Smoky Mountain, but it has been a long climb nonetheless. Watch out. It okay. seems like he can barely catch a break anywhere. Watch out here. He's got Crawford's legs. He's going he to go low. He's going to go low. No, he went for a knee drop right across the shoulder. Brent doesn't want to get disqualified here. He wants to fight it, crawl, and beat up Crawford as much as he can in this matchup. Interesting fact, before we came on the air today, I was walking through the curtain to come out here at ringside, and I noticed one man in particular watching the monitor will watch this matchup. And that was our champion, Jason Kincaid, and I found that very odd that he was just standing there staring at the monitor ready for this matchup to go on. So I don't, I don't know why I was behind that, but maybe something interesting to look forward to there. But as Vince Brent is in control of this matchup, they get us started here today on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. Yeah, hold on. He's going. He's going oh. Maybe he's just scoping out potential competi competition. Oh, it looks like Brent's knee gave out from under him there. Brent was going for a plancha, and he's out, we're out here on the floor now. And I think this thing has taken a turn for the worse now. Oh, across the back, and Brent may have done something to his knee. Watch out, watch out. Oh, God. Off the outside here on the floor. Well, that was kind of brutal. Referee needs to go out here and check on the action here. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out again in a trash can. This Referee Eric Foster needs to get hand. these guys back in the ring. He only let this go on. Yeah. 
as Brand is rolled back into the ring. We don't Vince know what kind hurt. of injuries got. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, the knee. Oh, man. Again. And again, Josh Crawford is working right on that knee. We don't know how serious the injury is. We're going to try to regroup here. Vince Brent's continuing on in this matchup. As Josh Crawford now is smelling blood in the water, if you will. Vince barely able to move at the ring right now. Well, look at Vince coming back here on fire. Sends Crawford off the rope, slides down. Trying to, what a drop kick! And right back to the knee. And we don't know how serious the injury is. We know there's an injury of some sort, but it may be, and it may be the uh, factor in this matchup here as Crawford is saying the heck with it. He's hightailing it. You see here. Josh Ellen's Crawford's here leaving. leaving. We're out of where they're going here. We're trying to get out of here. Referee going to count here. We're going to see a double count. Is Josh going to walk out? Watch out! On the outside! Holy Vince cow! Brent. Okay. Putting his body on the line! Yeah, I, I usually don't have a lot of good to say to Vince Brent, but... Oh, he took out Dylan Sizemore. Where'd he go, Vince Brent? Yeah! Josh Crawford, Dylan Sizemore rolling around on the floor over here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good for them. You see the referee checking on both of those men. Who cares about Dylan? Get Josh back in the ring. Let's get this match started. Finish this matchup here. Vince Brennan control. Oh, too bad. Dylan's getting up. Watch out, watch out. Vince now. Going for more punishment here. They're all over the building. This is not no disqualification. This is not a Falls Count Anywhere match. They're brawling. Oh, in the stands. They're in the front row. In the bleachers. Good Lord. Now the... And our camera in pursuit there. Great film work there by Will Trotter as they ascend all the way up. Where in the world are they going? All the way up to, oh my God. Wayne man. Atkins is not out here. They need to stay away from the balconies. And, and Crawford going Holy over cow. the railing up there. As you see, our camera and fans following is this getting out of control here on Smokey Mountain. Scott Hall, our director of security, doing his oh, job. Oh, man. Trying to keep people oh, back. Good what a knife head's job is Eric Foster has. I don't know what the heck Eric Foster was in the ring for. He needs to get up there, and he is. Well, he was being distracted by Dylan size. Watch out, watch out. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Over the over the rail and down the down the bleachers. He come down about four rows. Four rows, yeah. And Crawford. My God, what a brawl! This is not false count anywhere. Get this action back in the ring. Well, if he wasn't hurt before, he's probably hurt. Oh my God, Brent down to the floor hard. Holy cow! People are all over the place. It's a melee. It's a wild scene. The kick us off this week. Hands everywhere. Christ's sakes, get it in the ring. Well, we knew it'd get out of control. It's just a matter of time, you know, this much hate usually can't be contained in the ring. Man, I tell you what, it's just this is one of the wildest matches I've seen in my time here. Oh, Brent off the bleachers. Hard impact there. Skull first. This is, this is turning into a dang street fight. Hey, right now the referee can do here. Rolls him back in the ring. Brent still favoring the knee. We got referees out here everywhere trying to restore order. Fans up here, well, what a wild scene. Crawford. Watch out, now look out. Crawford. Oh, he caught him with a kill shot. We caught him with a kill shot. One, two, three. Vince Brent got it. He got it. He wins the match. Vince Prodigy with a victory.
For over five years, Cowboy Jack has been the official sound producer for NWA Smoky Mountain Live events. And now, you can bring the same quality entertainment to your event with Cowboy Jack Live Sound Production. From weddings and receptions to private parties and sporting events, big or small, the Cowboy does it all. With more than 10 years' experience in the music industry, owner Heath Sneed brings the same energy and excitement to your event that he brings to the ring when he steps through the curtain. And with the technology that Cowboy Jack brings to the table, your events can run even better than you can imagine. Having worked with the area's hottest bands, as well as 3FC fighting championship MMA and Valor kickboxing, Cowboy Jack has the experience you're looking for. So visit CowboyJackSound.com today to schedule a free consultation and booking appointment for your next event and bring it alive with Cowboy Jack Live Sound Production, the official sound producer for NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Wycom Mobile wants to pay you cash for your old phones. Tired of your current service plan? Wycom offers prepaid plans with Boost or Page Plus with no contract and no hassle. Bring in your current phone or buy the most popular mobile devices at half the cost of Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. They also repair broken phones and sell all the accessories on the market. Check them out at 2912 Bristol Highway in Johnson City next to Alpine Ski Center or go online to WycomMobile.com. Vince, congratulations. I mean, it's wild night. It is what it is. You weren't too happy out there. What, what are you thinking about your match in the ring tonight? Greetings! How's it going? You know what? I've been the most heart-stopping, jaw-dropping, eye-popping, high-flying, death-defying, awe-inspiring champion for two-plus years. And I started out scouring Appalachia for the best competition. That wasn't good enough, so I went to the East Coast. Then I went to the entire United States, then Mexico, then Canada. But when I come right back here to the Smoky Mountains and I ask the fans, who's the best competition? They always tell me, Vince, Brent. So Vincey, little buddy, how you doing, baby? What do you say? I put the most prestigious title in the Smoky Mountains on the line against the guy who the fans say is the best. I say, see you March 29th. Good. Listen to the rock and roll chants here, guys. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. Chase Owens still controlling this match at this point. Got him in the corner. He's going to have to break. Look out now. Oh, it's going to be a launch across the ring. Morton in the corner. Oh, man. He got it. Morton. Here it is. Running knee left. Hiding in Rock and Roll Express. Yes. And the feeling in this building, the roof, about to come off of this gymnasium as Chase Owens is staring down the barrel of the feet. Oh, look out! This is how he won the title. He got him. It should be one, two. I die. She's on the apron. Hit her. Punky Slapper. Hit her. Punky Collar yeah. Daddy. Owens. He saw it coming. That thing, Jezebel. Oh, right oh, elbow. Man. That's it. That's Are the other champion. champion. One, two, three. That's wow. Chase Owens has the new national or world junior heavyweight champion. Bell Smothers. Really? That's it. That's sick. I'm sick. Well, watch yeah. out here. Yeah, you had to have the help. You had to have help. 
You didn't have to have the help two times before. You had to have help. And a woman. A woman. And Ricky Morton not happy at all about this. Not happy at all. All right, welcome you back here on the Wrestling Spotlight. I'm joined by special analyst Mike Cooper, and we know there's going to be a big tag team matchup come Saturday night, March the 29th. It's going to involve, of course, the World Tag Team Champions, the Iron Gods, Rob Conway, Jack Zane. We know the Illuminati is going to be a part of this, Chris Richards and Chase Owens, but Mike Cooper, you have a special announcement to make concerning that match. Yes, I do, and the U.S. Tag Team Champions, the Lords of Chaos, have requested yet another shot at the World Tag Team title, so they have been added to the match against the Iron Gods and the Illuminati, which adds a whole new dimension to this tag team title match. Absolutely. The Lords of Chaos has been a dominating force in the tag team ranks of the NWA. Right now, though, we have words from the Illuminati as they stand by. You know, first of all, Chase Owens, that's a no I'd like to... I'd like to personally shake your hand and congratulate you on becoming the new, the three-time NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. And that belt is nice. It's shiny, and I bet it looks great up on your mantle spot in your house. But there's a spot there beside it that needs to be filled. And I know how we're going to fill it because that's because March 29th at the King Sports Civic Auditorium, we have our chance to become the NWA World Tag Team Champions. But you know, just like they always do, they always stack the odds against us. It can't just be us against the World Tag Team Champions. They have to throw another team in there. Another obstacle is put in front of the Illuminati time and time again. But you see, we got nothing but respect for the LOK. There's no doubt about it. You guys are a couple of tough big boys. And Rob Conway and Jax Dane, you guys are the same. But you know what the difference is between us and them, and that's very simple. When you get in the ring with the Illuminati on March the 29th, the four of you guys are going to realize that those dumbbells don't hit back, but we do. Because getting in the ring with the best pound-for-pound -pound wrestler in the world today, the crown jewel of the Illuminati, the real deal Chase Owens. You're getting in the ring with the six foot seven, 315-pound buller maker drinking, fine cut dipping, 100% southern ass kicker, the strong style redneck Chris Richards. And when you get in the ring with a couple of real men, you guys are going to find out real quick, just like I said before, those dumbbells don't hit back, but this elbow does. And this fist do. And on March the 29th, the Illuminati is going to add another world title. March 29th, big man. March 29th. Mark it on the calendar because Kingsport, Tennessee, NWA Smoky Mountain, the NWNA United States Tag Team Champions are coming back. and But you've got to see, we're coming back for one reason, big man, one reason. <laughs> it slipped through our fingertips down in NWA Salt. Rob Conway, Jack Dane, Iron Gods. Let me put it to you this way, Jack, you're looking at the two best damn wrestlers in the business the gay and put us together. We are the best damn tag team going today. <laughs> You got our belts, you got our spot, you got everything. You see, <clears throat> we're pissed off. And you don't want a pissed off Damian Wayne and pissed off Lance Erickson. <laughs> Jax, Rob, <laughs> games are over, kids. You see, here's the thing about it. They just don't bring the world tag champs in, <laughs> D-Dub. They bring in the Illuminati, Big Chris Richards. Chase Owens, <laughs> two of the best wrestlers also in the NWA, in the world period. So they want to make it a three-way dance. Listen, we have nothing but respect for Jax, Rob, Big Chris, and Chase Owens, former world champs. You know, there's a lot of former world champs. We've never been the champs yet. But come March 29th, right there at the Civic Auditorium, <laughs> Kingsport, Tennessee, it's time. 
that the lords of chaos take our spot in this business. See, you guys was a better tag team than us for one night. And that eats at me every day. And I know it eats at him too. And this time, we're coming. We're taking what we feel is ours. And that's the world titles and our place in history as being the United States Tag Team Champions and the World Champions. Lace them up tight. <laughs> and you know what? There's two things you can do about it. Actually one, nothing. Welcome to the violence. <laughs>to pay you cash for your old phones. Tired of your current service plan? Wycom offers prepaid plans with Boost or Page Plus with no contract and no hassle. Bring in your current phone or buy the most popular mobile devices at half the cost of Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. They also repair broken phones and sell all the accessories on the market. Check them out at 2912 Bristol Highway in Johnson City next to Alpine Ski Center or go online to WycomMobile.com. Underway with our main event this week. Ring the bell. Here we go. Alex Winters making his return back to the Smoky Mountain Ring after a little bit of a hiatus. And Alex Winters back in the summer of 2013. Mike Cooper had a wild battle for that television title. Jeff Connolly came out on the upper end of that, including these two men had a submission match at one point in time. Big back body drop there by Connolly, followed by a clothesline as Winters takes the mat. Again, Jeff Connolly starting out on fire, and uh, your old friend Alex Winters out on the outside. Well, Alex Winter rolling to the outside to break the momentum of Jeff Connolly. It's good to see the murder machine back with us in Smoky Mountain Wrestling here. Uh, Jeff Connolly better be ready for a fight tonight because I talked to Alex Winter earlier and he wants that TV title back worse than anything. Well, absolutely. And Alex Winters has got to be privileged here. Look out. I believe this is the first time in quite a while I've seen somebody come in the door. It's been gone for a few months to get a title match. But Alex Winters, that's how accomplished he is. Mike Cooper, a former television champion, a former national heavyweight champion, the only four-time national heavyweight champion in championship wrestling history. Alex Winters is an accomplished veteran. Jeff Conley still considered a young rookie to a lot of people. But he'll amaze you with his veteran-like mentality in the ring the longer the match goes. Big forearm shot there by Alex Winters. Great crowd on hand this week, as we saw earlier on with Josh Crawford and Vince Brent action. Big crowd on hand this week here on Smoky Mountain TV. This is where all the fans want to be. The greatest wrestling fans in the world are right here in the Mountain Empire in Churchill, Tennessee this week for Smoky Mountain TV. And what a what a great what a great day, Mike Cooper. As you said, Alex Winters comes back after a long absence and immediately gets a title shot, but that's just because he's that good. He has the credentials to back up him getting that title shot. Not many men could be gone that long and then come back in and immediately be granted a title shot. But you can never count out Jeff Connolly. He's a very tough individual. I'm very high on his submission skills, but Alex Winter also has world-class submission skills. This is going to be just a flat-out battle. Yes, it will. Right now, Jeff Connolly is winning that battle, Mike Cooper. 
Irish whip now up. Reversal by Winners. We've seen Winners do this before. Oh, and a big palm thrust there, followed by a snapmare and a drop kick to the back. And that quickly, the veteran Winners in control. Lateral press here and a two count from the referee, Austin West. And now to a nerve hold. Mike Cooper, you know how damaging this nerve hold can be. Well, it makes your entire arm go numb and, you know, take away the arms from a submission specialist. They cannot make you submit, so it's a very good strategy on Alex Winter's part. Right now, Alex Winter slowing the pace down of this matchup. Conley likes a faster style, a submission style. But right now, Alex Winters is the one with the submission applied to Conley as he tries to reach for the ropes. But like I said, the veteran skill of Alex Winters has Jeff Conley in the middle of the ring. But you cannot count the Army Specialist out for long as you see him make a comeback here to a vertical base with those right hands and a solid forearm there right on the button. And now an Irish whip off the far side, ducks under, springboard, shades of easy money. And it looks like they buddied heads there as Alex Winters Suffered an injury a few months back in a battle royal, and we've really not seen him much since. And that could have been an injury re-aggravated right there, a concussion or a head split open or something like that. We hope that's not the case. But both men now back up to a vertical base now. Those are solid right, but blocked. Now look at Jeff Conley. I don't think he caught all that last right hand, but he's getting it all now. Sends him off now. Big close line. Takes Winters down. Now sends him back here to the corner. Jeff Conley. And I got about the assault. Trying to get the fans. Here volunteer into the action. Going to mount him here. And look out. Alex Winters caught him. Ooh, and an atomic drop. And that's not a good place to land, Mike. Oh, no, that will uh, definitely uh, change your point. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Conley going to hook the arm. Drops it. Patented Jeff Conley. But Conley is not, he's not quick to the cover. It may cost him here. As you see a two count. And you, and you know as a veteran of the ring, Mike Cooper, you've got to make that cover fast. Well, sometimes, though, the cobwebs are too thick and you just can't get there as fast as you need to. He may have got the pin right there if he had got there fast enough, but he is doing the right thing by staying on that arm, working on it, and you know Jeff Connolly, he's setting up for some kind of submission hold. Look out here, a rear waist lock applied, reversal. Alex going to go maybe for a German suplex. Oh, the cover, that's it, ring the bell. That's it, ring it. Jeff Conley with a quick surprise victory retains the television title. Just like that, the match is over. This is the ladies and gentlemen, and still, your are going to go to the television champion, Jeff Conley. Jeff Conley, your winner here this week on NWA Smoky Mountain TV keeps his title. Folks, I'll tell you what, it's been an exciting week, and we still got a